Following the first trailer for Avengers Age of Ultron last week, in a recent interview, Kevin Feige revealed what fans have been speculating about for quite some time. By the end of this, the sequel, the superhero lineup will be changed. Feige stated, The Avengers films ideally in the grand plan are always big, giant linchpins. It's like as it was in publishing when each of the characters would go on their own adventures and then occasionally team up for a big 12-issue mega event. Then they would go back into their own comics and be changed from whatever that event was. I envision the same thing occurring after this movie because the Avengers roster is altered by the finale of this film. Schnepp, what do you make of Feige's comments? Uh, I make that some big news is coming from Marvel. <laughs> I don't know about this big news today, but what he's basically hinting at is saying, yeah, Avengers 2, the end, the roster is going to be different. You know, we already know that Claw is probably in it from that trailer. Claw equals uh, Wakanda equals T'Challa equals Black Panther. So I'm <laughs> betting that they're going to introduce the Black Panther in this film. It's just been a secret. They were able to somehow like throw all this information this way, and you never knew who's going to be playing T'Challa. So I think Black Panther will be in the Avengers. I also think somehow they're going to magically sneak in Miss Marvel. They might sneak in Nova. Mm -hmm. I, who knows? I mean, you know, Black Panther and Doctor Strange could easily be part of that that crew. I think War Machine mm. is way up. He's going to be in the Avengers. I mean, maybe it's going to be basically War Machine versus Iron Man in Captain America 3. Who knows what, what they're going to figure out. But the biggest news of him saying this to me is not just Avengers 3, which whatever that's going to be, we don't know. But it's it's basically kind of saying, look, we're, we are doing Civil War we're also mm -hmm. going to be doing Secret Wars mm -hmm. because Secret Wars is the way to introduce Spider-Man into the Marvel Universe. That's how he gets the black costume. That's such an ingenious way to weave the rights back into Marvel's universe. I, you know, I'd say even, you know, I was talking with a sweaty in London and he was like, what about <laughs> Kang the Conqueror? And I was like, Kang the Conqueror could actually be the thing that brings about the Secret Wars. He can transport all of these people from different time periods or from different zones. Guardians of the Galaxy can be in Secret Wars. The Avengers can be in Secret Wars. So on a weird battle planet, you know, it's just great that they're they're really taking their time to make the cinematic universe a great woven together adventure where you can actually watch 20 movies. What, wait till they have a week long Marvel marathon. Yeah. Where you're oh like, yeah. can you survive like our 50, 55 movies? Is like, oh, and the TV shows because they're all interconnected. Yeah. You know, it's like, where does it end? Yeah, it's a great <laughs> universe and it's really fun, especially being a fan of all these characters to see how the Marvel Cinematic Universe is weaving them together in a really great way, paying homage to the creations of the characters, the way they're written, fan favorite storylines. It's just really a, a cool time to be a fan of superhero films or just fantasy and science fiction or movies in general with this kind of stuff going on. It is. It's a great time. Um, I do think that, I mean, first of all, Kevin Feige, he knows just enough to reveal, <laughs> enough to get us excited, but not to really reveal anything big. Right. I mean, everything we've heard, Marvel Civil War is brewing up. I mean, we saw, you know, the trailer was just so epic and so fantastic and really dark and I mean something's about to brew and I feel like this again is being released at such a perfect time with this Marvel presentation today mm. right. because it would be the perfect day to say hey Black Panther movie's coming, Miss Marvel's movie's mm. coming, like boom just announce these big properties that we've been waiting for anyway especially after DC stepped it up in you know diversifying it up and actually having black actor and this and like about damn time so yeah. I do think that you know Marvel is all about showmanship mm. and that's something that you know DC as much as we're so excited about their properties they just kind of said oh by the way during a press conference this is what's happening we're like what yeah and Marvel goes hey come in we're gonna make this a big dog and pony show and everyone's like what are you gonna show and it's not like one is better than the other don't get all fanboy out on me <laughs> I'm just saying there's a very different tactic in revealing information and Feige is just the king of that because again just enough so I do think and seeing Andy Circus. I mean, yeah, oh, was claw. yeah, that was fantastic. And that you're right. Great. Everyone's like, "What's the connection?" Like the villain. I mean, it's just vibranium, Wakanda, uh, bam. It's so, <laughs> it's awesome. It's so exciting, and I'm so excited for what happens.
happens. And again, they're just, they know exactly, but who's going to die? Like, that's the question. Everybody! Yeah. Everybody yeah. dies. Yeah. So, Alicia, what, what do you make of Feige's comments? Uh, I just think it's really interesting. I like the idea that they're shaking things up, that it might be a different Avengers team, maybe some new characters, maybe someone will die. I have no idea what these comments mean. As you guys know, I didn't grow up reading comic books, so I'm starting to learn about them. But I like the Marvel movies because they cast really good actors, they get really good directors on board, and I think they're so smart at planning long term mm -hmm. how the cinematic universe all works together. So I'm hoping today for a Miss Marvel and a Black Panther announcement, but I'm still learning about the characters in can, general. Can I just say, I didn't get to chime in because I wasn't here about the Avengers trailer, but I'll just yeah, say oh, this. Great. James Spader's voice. Uh, like, so when you think about silly. voiceover casting, it's so important. And like, I remember when they first announced James Spader as Ultron, I was like, oh, that's weird. But then you hear it and you're like, it's so perfect. It gave me shivers. Yeah, and then you, then you realize, so oh, good. they originally got Jarvis, that actor. Paul Bettany. Yeah, oh, yeah, Paul Bettany is an amazing actor, and yeah. now he's playing the Vision. So yeah. it really is like the voiceover is such an important part to all these characters. I mean, it really like, is because you see a lot of the time in animated films where they just get these big names with maybe not these really identifiable voices. But then you have James Spader, who is like, wow, Benedict Cumberbatch, same thing. We're just like, ah, oh, just yeah, blood commanding. Or just mm -hmm. yeah, and it's like it is its own character. And I just feel like Ultron is going to be an actual menacing force that we've been waiting for. I mean, he looks straight evil son. Right. Yeah. I'm so excited. I mean, that's why, I mean, they got Josh Brolin, you're like, but he's a giant CG character. Yeah. I know, but it's his voice, which it is going to be good. the commanding yes. presence. So, so excited. Yeah, so excited. Hey, everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.